guys welcome back to my channel I know I know I have some explaining to do I've been MIA for a little bit so I just kind of want to go over what's been going on with me some pregnancy updates house updates why I'm in a hotel and I also want to go over a gender reveal as to what we're expecting so if you're interested in that then keep on watching if you're new to my channel my name is Ashley Nicole and my channel is all about parenting and motherhood as well as some product reviews here and there so if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you always know when I have new videos coming out of course I'm trying to film this video while my toddler is sleeping but she will not go down for a nap so let's just try for as long as she let me anyway so there's a few reasons why I've not been on here as much recently and you've only seen a few videos a month is because of the fact that IVF really took a lot out of me it just kind of was like an emotionally draining experience it was really hard definitely worth it beautiful result in the end we are pregnant um, however it was very hard so it was kind of hard to pick up the camera and be genuine with you guys I didn't want to just get on there and be like I'm having a bad day and basically say that over and over and over and over again <laughs> because nobody wants to hear that so that's one of the reasons the other major reason is because we did actually move we bought a house and we are very happy about that but with that also comes moving with a toddler and i'm looking there because she is still not napping so moving comes with its own stress we had to pack up everything i obviously had a toddler i was already pregnant and it was just a lot and then basically having to go through all like the inspections etc it was just like we were really busy at the time and then once we finally moved in it was all about unpacking and it's also really hard to do when you have a little one pulling at you and really not letting you like unpack anything because they're like throwing stuff all over the place okay, sorry guys I kind of lost my train of thought there for a second because my daughter woke up but she is back down so anyway um I don't remember where I left off the move kind of came after IVF and when we stopped the injection so I feel like I was kind of coming off the hormones and I was kind of like up and down on lows and highs so again it was really difficult to just get in front of the camera um, I feel like I've totally missed it though and I have so much to share with you guys so many awesome videos coming up I'm definitely gonna do today's gender reveal because I want to talk to you guys how excited I am about that I'm gonna insert a video on how I told Kevin what we were expecting so I'll I will show you guys that in a little bit and then I also want to do videos on baby's nursery and you know more product reviews as well because I know you guys love those and I definitely have a home tour coming up but the reason why I'm in a hotel room is because of the fact that our home had a leak so the AC was leaking into our home every single time that we turned it on and we didn't know this and it was happening for months about three to four months and all of a sudden we were in our daughter's nursery my husband's like it smells like a rat in here like a dead rat and me being pregnant I can't believe I didn't smell it right away but once I went to her crib I pulled her crib up and then behind her crib wall was a bunch of bubbling on the wall and we also had noticed that the baseboards of the laminate were kind of pushing up and looked like they were bubbling so this had just finally gotten to everything in the walls and the floors and now we were able to see the signs of it so thankfully there wasn't any like mold that was going to be hurting my child or us by any means but we did catch it in time but it still did a ton of damage I mean a ton we had to rip out all the floors in my daughter's nursery and baby's new nursery the hallway the entire living room and they had to take about two to three feet off of the entire walls on those surrounding areas it ruined one of our exterior doors and of course as luck may have it we did buy an older home and it had asbestos when they went and checked for the abatement and it also had I cannot remember what it's called I will try it I'll put it down here but it had this like adhesive for the flooring that also isn't good if it's touched so an environmental group had to come out and it was just it's been kind of a nightmare it's been about three weeks I believe that we've now been living in hotels now the other reason I did not pick up the camera yet reason 1 million 3000 number five um, is because we have now moved hotel rooms three times <laughs> I mean 
I don't even know. At this point, it's comical. The first time we were at a hotel, um, something really bad on our floor happened. And there was just like people running up and down the hallways and there was people like smoking and it was just not a good environment. Literally like the police were at this other room and it just, yeah, bad. Anyway, so then we moved to another hotel, which we thought was better category and it was really dirty. And I literally didn't want my daughter going anywhere near any Anything. so it was really stressful on me and my entire family and then we were like okay well we want to move hotels again and this is really hard because we have basically all our stuff that we need on a daily to day basis but with a toddler that's a lot of things and also my husband has been hauling her actual crib from hotel to hotel because we feel bad putting her in a pack and play for so long because it's so uncomfortable and she loves her crib and this helps her feel safer and she sleeps better um she's actually been doing really good with all the transitions but well sometimes I, I probably shouldn't say been doing so good because she does wake up quite a bit now but regardless we ended up looking for a lot of other hotels but it's summer in california and disneyland opened up and literally everything's booked especially the nice places um it's not like we're like super bougie and we need to have like this amazing eight star resort or something like that we just want a clean nice place that's safe for our family um so we finally landed in this hotel and we are pretty happy it's bigger it's more space and we definitely are like on top of each other but that's okay because we're figuring it out and we're just trying to take it with a grain of salt day by day as you guys can imagine that has been extremely stressful on me and my family and i literally cannot tell you how many times i've cried had panic attacks i've just been in a really like kind of bad place because it's like I don't know, I like organization. I go back to my house and like my living room's in the playroom and everything else is in the kitchen and my daughter's room and the baby's room is in the garage and in the dining room. It's just very chaotic and it makes me extremely anxious and it's put me in like not the best mood every day. Plus I'm tired, I'm not getting any sleep. But now I feel like, okay, we're in a hotel that I feel is clean and safer and we're starting the repairs on my home. We still haven't actually started them, but we are gonna be starting those soon. Um, I might have actually missed a call. I don't know. Anyway. I know I've gone on and on and I've been rambling if you guys want to follow on my Instagram you can go to my day-to-day -day. I really post on stories a lot and you can kind of see what's going on and um, how we're moving along with this very stressful project and um, I will definitely try my absolute best to keep going on YouTube I don't want to give you guys a schedule just yet just because I don't know if I'm gonna be doing Mondays and Thursdays or just maybe Tuesdays I'm not sure yet I want to get everything organized and then give you guys a schedule that I can commit to um, but I definitely want to come back and do like one video or two videos a week so I'm really excited I have missed so much talking to you guys and I've still been keeping up with a lot of you guys through the comments and on my Instagram and always feel free to reach out to me but without further ado let me answer the clip of our gender reveal all right they called <laughs> so go sit down we have a surprise okay go sit over there when did they call? A lot earlier. Okay, I was focused on that. That was weird. Alright, close your eyes. Okay. Alright, when you open your eyes, this is the number of normal embryos that we have. Okay. Okay, you can open. <laughs> three. three. Oh, three, okay. Yeah, so we have three normal embryos. Okay. And one was abnormal, and one might have to be right be re biopsy. Okay. Um, but for sure, three, which is awesome. Okay. Really, really good news, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And um, this is the gender. Okay. Of each embryo when you open them. So, let's start with the first one. It's a boy. Yeah. Oh, that's that's cool though. Yeah. Alright. Cool, huh? Are they all boys? Yeah, we're gonna have a boy. Alright. We're gonna have a 
Oh boy! Get it, no choice! Yes, we are having a boy and I will definitely tell you guys all about my pregnancy and my pregnancy update video that I'll be uploading soon but we are so excited because we're gonna have our baby girl and now we're gonna have our baby boy and I'm very excited for all of us but I'm definitely excited for my husband because he's gonna kind of get to understand how I feel with my daughter um, so that, that was honestly a really really awesome surprise As you can tell in the video I showed him all the different embryos and what we had which is crazy because of the fact that it's all boys and we had a baby girl through IUI and I just feel like even more blessed with her and even more blessed with him coming and I, I'm, I'm just ecstatic we're both ecstatic and Harper doesn't really understand yet but I think she's gonna be stoked eventually um, she'll come around <laughs> All right, guys, if you stuck around through the end of this rambling and everything, you are the real MVP. I really appreciate you. I'm definitely going to have a lot of videos coming up. Um, I am going to do some home videos, like we're redo redoing the backyard and stuff, and just us moving back in, organization, motherhood, baby, pregnancy, you name it. I am going to do it. So please let me know in the comments down below if there's any kind of specific video that you want to see from me, and I will definitely try my absolute hardest to get those out for you guys before I leave you guys I just want to show you a shot of my belly because I have really progressed since the last time I was on YouTube it is much bigger <laughs> But like I said, I'm definitely going to be doing a pregnancy update, so you guys can stay tuned for that. And yeah, I think I'm just going to end it here. Thanks again for watching, you guys. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.